Hello children. I am here to take your value education class for standard 1. I know you are very excited because in this class you always get a chance to hear interesting stories and also learn different moral values and ethics of life. Isn't it children? Yes. Now before going to a story, I will like to ask you some questions. Do you listen to elders and obey your parents? Yes, you do. Do you behave politely with everybody? Yes, you do. Do you help people in need? Yes, you do. So today's topic is discipline. You are very much familiar with the word discipline. Your teacher teaches you to be so. So do your parents. Man is different from other creatures. He lives in society he has to regulate his life he must observe some rules of conduct discipline means living under strict rules it is one of the powerful words in our life The student life requires that they should obey their school discipline. They should respect their teachers. They should be punctual. They should obey their parents. They should always speak the truth. and not misbehave they should not make fun of anyone discipline is the key to success one should obey their parents and elders as well so to be a good human discipline is very very necessary Human life is a gift from God which shines with discipline. It helps in developing self control. Practicing discipline from childhood proves to be helpful. It molds, strengthens and perfects a personality. We all need discipline at many stages of our life. Hence, practicing discipline from childhood is helpful. It is required not only by students but also office persons, parents, teachers and everyone. It is the secret of successful people the most successful people follow discipline in their life on a daily basis it builds self confidence in us and make us strong to face challenges our forefathers and national heroes have always talked about discipline discipline in our national life is the only way through which we can solve all the problems our country is facing right now all of us follow some or the other discipline in our lives waking up early taking a bath daily reaching school on time 
are all examples of discipline. Discipline shapes our life and teaches us how to handle different situations. It helps us to lead a healthy and peaceful life. Indiscipline, on the other hand, causes lots of problems and confusions. It hampers our progress and peace of mind. It is the key to the path of success. Now, let me tell you an interesting story. Listen very carefully. In a village, there lived a hen with her three chicks. The first two chicks were very obedient and never left their mother's side. On the other hand, the third chick was very naughty and roamed alone sometimes. Look here, children. Stay together and search for the food. And you, the third one, did you listen? Yes, mom. As they were packing the food and moving, Mother Hen spotted a corn lying there. Listen, my children. There can you see a corn lying? Don't ever try to eat it. It would stick in your throat. In spite of the warning given by the mother, the third chick slowly went near the corn. Mom is not watching me. Let me try eating one grain. The chick pecked one grain and tried swallowing it. That's it. It got stuck in its throat. Oh my God! Why did you eat that? I warned you. Oh, wait here. I'll bring some water to drink. Mother Hen ran towards a pond nearby. Oh, dear pond, please give me some water. My son has eaten a corn grain which is stuck in his throat. And he is in a very miserable condition, waiting for me. Oh, very sorry. Bring a cup and I'll give you water. Go to the old lady sitting there and ask her to make a cup for you. Okay, I will return with the cup. Mother Hen went to the lady who was sitting under a tree. Oh dear lady, will you please make me a cup so that... The mother hen narrated the whole story. Oh, I pity you. Get me a banana leaf and before that will you find out my needle? Mother Hen searched for the needle. She left the place forgetting the banana leaf after finding the needle. Oh friend, will you give me a leaf so that the old lady can make a cup and the pond will give me water for my son? Again Mother Hen narrated the story. Oh, how sad. Do not worry. I will give you, but before that, will you inform the farmer to cut the bunches of banana, which is very heavy? Definitely, I will. Saying so, the mother hen ran to see the farmer. 
Hey hen, what is the hurry? Oh, I have come to meet you. Meet me? For what? Oh, please help me, kind man. My son is sick as he had eaten a corn. Please cut the bunch of bananas so that he'll give me a leaf. Oh, I will help you, but you have to give me the eggs you lay for a week. That's simple. I will give you. Please come soon. The farmer chopped the banana bunch. Oh, what a relief. Here, take this leaf. Thanks to both of you. Mother hen ran with the leaf to the old lady. Ah, you are here with the leaf. Let me make a cup. Thanks for the cup. Mother hen ran with the cup to the pond and the pond poured the water into the cup. Thank you, dear. The mother hen ran to her chick that was waiting for the water. The chick drank the water from the cup. Thank God, your hiccup stopped. Didn't I tell you not to eat that? I am really sorry, mother. I had learnt a lesson. I will never disobey you and listen to whatever you say. So what happened in the story, children? The third chick disobeyed mother hen. So it fell in danger and underwent a miserable condition. Isn't it? On the other hand, the mother hen faced so much difficulty in bringing the water. If the third chick would have listened and obeyed mother hen, Nothing would have happened. Isn't it children? Yes. So, what is the moral of the story? In order to be disciplined, one has to obey the elders. Be obedient and listen to what our parents say. They are the ones who love us more than we can think. Not only the chick fell in danger, but even you children can face a similar situation in life if you do not obey your mother or elders. I hope you will remember this moral throughout your life and start implementing it from today itself. There are various rules for discipline for children. They are Number 1. Do not come late to school. Number 2. Do not miss the school assembly. Number 3. Do not make the classroom dirty. Number 4. Do not tear pages from your notebook. Number five, do not talk while being taught in class. Number six, do not tell lies. Be honest always. Number seven, do not speak bad words for anyone. Number eight, do not spoil the school property. Number nine, a student with discipline is always punctual and finishes his work in time. Number ten, maintain discipline in the library and common room. Number eleven, players must follow the rules of the games. So children, here we come to the end of today's value education class. 
I hope you enjoyed today's class and also learned many things. Thank you. Stay safe.